no, 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 no. If I enter the room, sweetie, I need you to smell me from a mile away, smelling like edible arrangements, okay? <laughs> and it just smells like you're rich. I'm intrigued. What you wearing? Mm -hmm. Tell me, so if you're not on to Nishane, throw your whole collection away. Like, I want to feel like I got money when I don't, when I don't, okay? What's up, hotties? It's your girl, Jenny, here again with another video. This one is for the girls, honey. The girls are going to find themselves in each of what I'm about to talk about. It's a fragrance haul. <laughs> it's a fragrance haul. Um, haul in the sense that I have been using these things. I have not um, just purchased them. A lot of them were purchased last year. Some of them purchased this year. And so I'm really, really um, excited to walk you guys through my collection. Mind you, this is just a portion of the collection. I'm going to do this a tad bit differently. I want to talk about the brand rather than the actual perfumes. And I'll just tell you within those brands what to buy or what I've bought and have been in love with. And so with that in mind, let's get started, okay? Um, but before we get started, if you are new here, Welcome to my little corner of the internet. Here we talk about everything fashion, lifestyle, travel, and here and there I sprinkle, just a little bit of sprinkle, my life as a wife, a career mom, and everything else in between. So if any of the above sounds like it's right up your alley, please don't forget to hit subscribe. So without further ado, let's get into the perfumes. Uh, I don't remember exactly when my love of perfume started, y'all, but it started since I was like quite young. But your girl was broke, so I couldn't buy any perfumes, right? Um, and now that we got a little bit of money, I just started, re I just rediscovered, I, I, you could say, my love of fragrances. And so with that, your girl is rediscovering herself, rediscovering the scents that I do like, what I don't like. Um, rediscovering me, really, y'all, through scents, okay? And I think it's something that every single one of us, it's a change that every single one of us go through. And it's something that's ever evolving because obviously what you liked last year, you might not like this year. What you liked five years ago is not something that you would like this year. And so, girl, your girl discovered Joma Shop, y'all. Your girl discovered girl Joma Shop and I got my entire life, y'all. So I'm going to start with a very popular one that I discovered via my sister, actually, a, a brand. It's called Parfum de Marly. It's a French brand, I think. Don't quote me, y'all, because... I know the girls like to tussle. Don't tussle with me, okay? <laughs> I, again, I'm not going to go into depth. Like, I just want to tell you what I feel about the perfumes and not necessarily like the composition of it. Um, and you can make up your own line, right? Because again, I feel like scents are really feelings um, and scents are a way to express yourself without saying much. And I am a very, I'm a loud girl perfume. I, I don't know if that even makes sense. Like, I don't do soft. I don't like, oh my God, it, uh, you can barely smell me. No, 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 no. If I enter the room, sweetie, I need you to smell me from a mile away. And so a lot of the scents that I've been attracted to lately are very masculine, are very, um, yeah, they're just very strong. And so the scents that I'm going to talk about today, they are very, very strong. I just want to preface it by saying that. And so without further ado, let's get into it. The very first um, set, like I said, I'm going to talk about the brand, not necessarily the perfume, right? The very first set of perfumes, I was a hater of Parfum de Mali. I was a hater, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, this is the very first perfume my sister, I bought for my sister for her birthday, I think. And I was like, first of all, why is the perfume so expensive? Okay, like, what? Um, and... I was like, I, I, I guess I like it. I, I don't know. Right. But then like, she literally kept getting compliments on it. And I was like, oh my God, like maybe this perfume is whatever. This is Delina exclusive. So just so you know, there is like levels to Delina. There is Delina and there is Delina exclusive. Like Parfum de Marly, Delina. And then Parfum de Marly, Delina exclusive. And so this is the exclusive. It's, it's one of my most used perfumes. However, it's not like my favorite scent. Because again, within the Parfum de Marly family, you have favorite scents. This baby is my favorite scent. So Parfum de Marly Ariana. The bottles look very similar, you guys. So it's not like, you know, it, it's not doing too much. 
Oriana is that girl for me. I love, I, I guess first I need to describe what I like smelling like. I, I love gourmands. I love smelling like a cupcake. I love smelling like edible arrangements. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm not too much of a floral girly, but I could do floral if it's layered to something. And the other thing about me is I don't ever wear one perfume. I usually wear multiple perfumes, at least two. And so this baby right here, talk about smelling you from 10 million miles away. And so I'll talk about what I partner them with later on in this video. But this baby is everything. Again, the girls love Delina Exclusive and people really compliment. It's a great scent. It, it is long lasting. Obviously, if you're going to spend a coin like that on a perfume, it better last forever in a day. Do you hear me? Like, stop it. And so, yeah. So for me, out of those two, this is my favorite, but I very much still use this. So this is my little Delina exclusive uh, opinion. So Oriana um, smells like the, the bright pink one smells like cupcakery sweetness, just like you're engulfed in like this cloud of just cupcakes and cookies and marshmallow, toasted marshmallow. Like it's just delicious. And again, like I said, I'm not going to read the notes and you guys can do that on your own because um, I'm going to link them in the description below. But they're amazing, guys. They're amazing. And again, I think the whole Parfum de Marly family is amazing. And so I, I don't think you really can go wrong with any of them. I do plan on getting one more. Um, I'm not like the girls that have 12 million perfumes. Right now, my little collection is quite small, right? I think I have like under 30. Uh, but they're mighty. They're, they're pretty mighty. So the second brand that I discovered is um, Commodity. <laughs> So my sister-in-law shared with me that I needed to exper uh, smell a uh, commodity at uh, Sephora. And I was like, commodity? I've never heard of it. And she gave me a sample. I said, come again? What was that crack? And your girl was asking for it. Like, my life depended. I was like, oh, my God, that smells so good. Again, toasted marshmallows. Just, like, deliciousness. Deliciousness, okay? And so I was like, okay, let me explore. And so I logged onto their actual website instead of going to Sephora. I, I, yeah, I think I smelled it at Sephora. Logged onto their website and I was like, oh my God, I have discovered a whole world. And guys, I think the best thing about commodity is it does not break the bank. Let me say it for the girls that want to invest but don't have the coins or don't want to spend that kind of money. They do not break the bank. And I'm talking like for big bottles. So anyway... I wanted to introduce you guys to Gold Plus and Milk Plus, Milk Plus, Commodity Gold Plus, Commodity Milk Plus. And so you're like, what is Milk Plus versus Milk? So what I love, love, love about commodity uh, fragrances is that when you log onto the website, it allows you to pick the, I guess, like the fragrance distance or whatever, like, like the, the, the strength of the fragrance you, you want. So they have like personal space. They have, um, I forgot what, what the other like section is, but this is like projection to the next level. Like the plus sign in each of their fragrance means like, listen, you're about to, you're about to be smelled 10 million miles away and you're going to love it. Okay. And so this gold is very much like under, it's not sweet, which again, I just described myself as loving sweet. It's not sweet. However, it is, it's oud. It's like, it has a hint of oud in it and it just smells like you're rich. I don't know how else to describe gold. Like it just smells like, oh, she got money. Yeah. Like that. Meanwhile, Milk Plus is like, oh, you, I, I just want to hug from you because right now it very much feels like we're in front of the fireplace, just toasting marshmallows and just deliciousness and almonds. And it's delicious is how I can describe it. I love, love, love gold only because I think the jasmine, amber, and everything that is a part of this fragrance makes it, like, balances it out so, balances the oud out so well that it's like, oh, there is a hint there, but it's not, like, ooh, too much. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not satin oud by MFK. If, if, if the girls that know, no, it's not that loud, but at the same time, it's, like, very subtle, which I absolutely love. So I would definitely recommend for the girls that don't have $10 million to spend, on fragrances, I would definitely recommend checking out Commodity because babes, amazing, okay? That's all you need to know. And just so you know, and just so you know, these two are their best sellers. These two are their best sellers. So my sister-in-law let me uh, smell milk and 
Mm-hmm. That, that's what I fell in love with milk, but I purchased milk plus because I, I wanted the projection to be extreme because I'm just obnoxious like that. Okay. The next family of perfumes. Um, again, I've been very into niche family, uh, niche perfumes. Uh, I don't like brand perfumes like a Gucci or yeah, I like, I don't like, like a Gucci or whatever else. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my preference. I'd rather have perfumes that are, that are not well known that I could layer that could be like, Oh girl, I'm intrigued. What you wearing? Mm-hmm. Tell me so. So anyway, in walks the harmonist. Oh my God, y'all. If you know nothing about the harmonist, I'm going to put you on. Okay. Cause you're going to have three perfumes from the harmonist. They are expensive. Again, a lot of the perfumes that I'm talking about today, guys are on the higher end of things. But again, that's what you get for, you know, a nice long lasting perfume that you're not going to use every day, but the longevity of it is priceless to be honest with you. And so in the projection also is priceless. And so with, Kama- with, um, the harmonist, you have sun force, which is my absolute fave. And then you have, um, moon glory, which the girls, the girls know the girls that the girls that know, know about moon glory. Okay. Listen to me. And then you have, um, velvet fire. And this is one that's just being discovered right now as I'm, t- as I'm talking to you. Because I think the girls turn their nose up at, you know, Velvet Fire. So I guess I want to talk about this. So this is a very sweet. It's very heavy on the honey. Um, I didn't, to be honest with you, I was like, oh, this is what the girls are uh, feeling over. And that's not me. But at the same time, I was like, oh, but I can appreciate the goodness of it. So when I purchased it, I purchased it in Chicago. So when I purchased it, I was like, oh, okay, I'm intrigued. Sure, cool, whatever. And then Velvet Fire, I got a um a sample of Velvet Fire and I was like nobody is telling me about Velvet Fire and it, to be honest with you they're unisex so it's one of my husband's most used perfume. My husband loves loves oud. And so Velvet Fire is very much that guy, that 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 guy for him, okay? Cuz Velvet Fire is again very subtle oud, very well balanced oud. It's not as subtle as Gold Plus from the, from Commodity However, it is extremely, extremely good. Um, and again, like I said, all of these perfumes from the Harmonist, long lasting is the name of the game, okay? Okay. And then you have Sun Force, baby. What I tell you, this baby right here is the real MVP. Like, I smelled Sun Force. I was like, the Harmonist just needs to throw away every other scent because this is baby girl right here. Sun Force. A lot of people, if you don't like, again, it's not sweet. It's not sweet. It's very strong. It's, it's very like I'm here. It's very masculine for some people. Um, I love to use it. My husband, like I said, my husband also uses it. And so I find Sun Force to be, um, like if you're walking to a board meeting, yes, Sun Force is going to be that guy. Okay. He's going to stand up for you before you even say anything. It's going to introduce you before you, you even say anything. So out of the three I highly, highly, highly recommend Sun Force. And I absolutely, absolutely love the projection of all three perfumes. The projection of all three, like literally you leave a trail behind, you, it comes in before you do, like it's, they're amazing. And again, I think the, the price range is between 230 to 380, don't quote me. Uh, but again, it's not, they're not, they're not cheap. So that, I, yeah. Whereas I would recommend you lose yourself in commodity because again, they're high quality perfumes, but for a fraction of the cost, um, the harmonist is very much not that guy or girl. Okay. Uh, next thing that I want to talk about is something that I discovered in, um, on TikTok. Again, somebody was talking about it cause I'm on perfume TikTok y'all. That's why I'm, I'm on perfume TikTok. Okay. Um, and so this girl was describing how she walked into the a, a restaurant and some guy was like smelling, like smelling, he's like, who smells so good? And it just happened to be her. And I was like, okay, girl, so what you wearing? So like, what were you wearing? And she said she was wearing Lover by The Maker. Mind you, I had never heard of The Maker. I don't know anything about The Maker. This was a blind buy, y'all. I, I literally bought this thing without even, based literally off of the feedback that she was giving on her video, okay? Call me crazy. But this, again, did not break the bank. I think this was like 175 for the three ounce, the 50 ml. Um, and so... 
when I tell you this is like a second skin, it's not sweet. I, it's, it's so funny because I feel like I'm contradicting myself because I'm like, oh, it's amazing, guys. It's great. It's glorious. And I love sweet. And I'm like, but this is not sweet. Um, this feels like second skin. This feels like truly a lover. Like it's very intimate. It's very sexy. It's very like, just give me a hug. Hold on tight and don't ever let me go. It's very jasmine -y, vetiver. Um, I mean, it's, it's good is what I can literally say about it. It's amazing. It's amazing. I blind tested this on my husband and he was like, oh my God, this is actually like really, really good. And so I was like, uh, okay. So this is my first perfume from the maker. I had, like I said, I was just introduced to it. So this specific perfume lover just came out December 4th of last year, 2023. And so it was pretty new when she was talking about it. And I was like, purchase because this came out in sephora it was sold out immediately y'all like sephora was not playing the girls knew and it was sold out so i ended up buying it when i got an alert saying hey it's back in stock quickly purchased literally like 30 seconds later it was sold out again okay and the girls did not play and so i absolutely absolutely would recommend this amazing scent amazing scent but like i said it's very intimate very sexy um it's not subtle but it feels subtle i don't know if that even makes sense okay Okay, the pièce de résistance of all layering, because I told you I only I wear two plus perfumes. Okay, Hundred Silent Ways by Nishane. <laughs> Babes, if you're not on to Nishane, throw your whole collection away. So I found out found out about this via Jackie Ina. It's like one of her most watched videos on TikTok. The way she was like raving about this. And I was like, oh, if my good sis Jackie Ina says it's good, then I know it's good because she has a collection, okay? And so I was like, again, a blind buy. Ah, uh, what sweet, subtle, sexy. Oh my God, all the S's. <laughs> oh, baby. It's the alliteration for me, <laughs> okay? In describing the Shanae 100 Silent Ways, my God. And when I tell you this layers with everything, I could be wearing oud. I could be wearing the masculine perfume. I could be wearing, you know, the citrusy. I could be wearing the very loud gourmand, whatever. Baby girl is going to stand on her own. Baby girl Nishane is going to stand on her own. 100 silent ways, y'all. I can't, like, oh my God. Like I said, I'm not going to, again, you guys can find out the, the, the composition for yourself when I link, uh, when I put the link uh, in the description. But this is just, oh, actually, this ha has it right here. Mandarin, tuberose, peach white, jasmine, gardenia, orris, vanilla, sandalwood, and vetiver. Ah! Your girl is a sandalwood, vetiver, uh, not so much jasmine, actually. But tuberose, sign me up. Baby, sign me up. And this, oh, it lives up to the hype. Like, baby, this. Like I said, I layer it with everything and i'm not kidding when i say that everything okay so highly recommend would be an understatement we'll move to the next uh my last baby so i was introduced to this brand um via my sister a long time ago and i was like okay she wanted the perfume for her birthday and i was like cool whatever bought her the perfume my my sister has been a collector of perfume forever now and so literally i was like okay well you know i logged into joma shop don't say i didn't tell you again i'm not being sponsored by joma shop i should know um so they have all of these perfumes at a discounted price and so again if you don't have 10 million dollars to spend on a perfume don't because why why would you anyway so she introduced me to Zerzhov. My sister has La Capital. And I was like, girl, this smells delish. And she was like, yeah, but there is a whole family of perfumes. And I was like, okay. But I, but I asked a question on TikTok, like, if I were to have, buy one Zerzhov perfume, what would it be? And I guess a little backstory. Um, I visited London in 2022 for my wedding anniversary. And... I wanted to live at Harrods, y'all. I when I, I wanted to live at Harrods. And so I was like, oh my God, like, why? I, I want to feel rich. You know what I mean? Like, I want to feel like I got money when I don't, when I don't, okay? So when I was re when I was looking up this, this baby, it was like this specific area in London called Knightsbridge. And I was like, 
Okay, and it's like where the rich and famous lives, honey. And your girl was like, uh, "Sign me up," because I'm trying to be rich and famous. I mean, what you mean? Um, and so that's what this perfume was described as. The name is Cambridge Club. So it's Zerjoff Cambridge Club. You guys, my God, if you are not a spices lover, I would say don't even because it's very spicy. I don't even know if that, that makes sense. It has oud. It has spice. It has every everything you can possibly think of in it, you just smell rich. And to be honest with you, when I was going through Harrods, Selfridges, and all of these stores in London and that area itself, it was very much giving that. Like it was very much giving that smell. And I was like, to be able to capture that smell in a bottle is genius. Like genius for somebody like me who can't travel to London all willingly like that. I still want to smell London. I still want to smell Knightsbridge and babes. <laughs> Huh. Okay. I have not. So I have, yeah, I have tried to like, par um, layer this with, um, other fragrances. It pierces through other fragrances. So to be honest with you, I would definitely recommend wearing this alone or wearing this with something that has like a, a very strong oud base because baby girl right here stands on her own, stands on her own. Okay. Does not need anybody else to speak for her to root for her, <laughs> to hype her up because she's going to walk into the room and you're going to know she's right there. And so that is very much the vibe of baby girl. Speaking of baby girl who wants you, don't want you to speak for her. Arabian Tonka by Montel. <laughs> Babes, if you are not hip, I mean, the bottle is very unassuming. It's like 10. It's very light. It's not doing too much. But sweetie, Sweetie, Arabian Tonka is definitely that girl. And I think it's like a master layering fragrance. I, I, it definitely gives the vibe of Cambridge Club, but with less spices. And I think it's, I think it's a more balanced version of Cambridge Club, if that makes sense. Oh, it smells delicious. You guys, it smells amazing. It smells rich. It smells like I'm about business and I'm going to walk in here. Again, it's not sweet. It's very oud, um, like minor spices, like you, you name it, it's that. Um, it just smells very sexy, very mysterious, very just like, I'm going to do this, but I don't want you to find out that it was me. Okay. <laughs> Mattel, Arabian Tonka. Oh, babes, it definitely smells like I'm in Dubai and I'm just shopping on the Dubai mall. There is no budget. I'm... And so does Cambridge Club, to be honest with you, because I'm like, it very much gives that vibe. It very much, very much gives that vibe, that vibe. And so I would, yeah, babes, yeah, okay, okay. Those are all of the perfumes that I've been loving lately, especially for winter, um, that I've been rocking nonstop, okay? I've been layering nonstop. I hope you enjoy this little thing. However, for those of you who are asking in terms of like layers, like, how do I know what to layer? To be honest with you, there is no rhyme or reason for me to layering. I just spray what feels good to me for that day. I'm like, what do I want to smell like? A mixture of what? And so um, I usually do these two together because this is like more citrusy and this is like more sweet. So it's like a nice balance situation. I also do Oriana with um, Nishine, which I find to be, oh, chef's kiss. My goodness. I also do love her with Delina Exclusive because they're both on like the citrusy side of things. Um, I do milk with honey. So if I want to smell extra sweet, I do the milk, which is the marshmallow, and I do the honey. And babes, that's a, that's a winning combination. That's an edible combination, okay? You, you hear me, you hear me clear. And so I usually do gold plus with the oud and the harmonist. And when I tell you, it smells so good, y'all. It smells so good, okay? Um, and I do this in the gold also. To be honest, whenever I wear this, like I said, I usually wear it alone. I always, I also wear this alone, but I it would definitely partner very well with this because they're in the sim they're similar scent families. But yeah, I. Those are all the very heavy rotation going on 
for winter for me that I've absolutely been loving. Um, it's just really dark, mysterious, sweet, um, just sexy. Like that's the vibe for winter in the fall, the fall and winter, uh, 2023, 2024 for me. And I've been absolutely loving it guys. And I hope you do too. I hope I introduced you to something you that you did, you weren't exposed to before. And if not, like, please let me know what your favorite scents are. I would love to explore. Not that I'm going to buy because we're on a budget. Okay. But absolutely let me know what different scents and fragrance I should try. Um, I'm all about, you know, learning what I absolutely love and what I don't love and seeing how that balances out. And with that in mind, you guys, thank you so much for watching again and again. I really appreciate your presence here and I will see you. I will smell you. <laughs> you see what I did there? In the next video. Bye.